So, BeerReviews.com, we're off location, but we're going to do another beer review. This is the Double D IPA out of the Old Dominion Brewing Company. Um, they are out of Dover, Delaware, which I find interesting because when I ever think of Old Dominion, I think of Old Dominion University in Norfolk, Virginia. And then whenever I, whenever I think of the broad scope of Old Dominion, I think of Richmond, Virginia. Uh, but anyway, irrelevant. Um, this is their uh, double IPA. I know the lighting's not good, but it's got this really cool label of this kind of, uh, I believe, I would think this is World War II. Um, she's got kind of this flight jacket on with this uh, helmet and two planes going down. Not going down, but flying by, rather. That's a big difference. Excuse my uh, misinterpretation of the picture. Um, I've never brewed or inter I've never reviewed a beer from this brewery, but they have a lot of really cool beers on the website. The website's awesome. I would check it out. It's a uh, it's a uh, Ford Ford Hammond Dominion uh, for the Dominion profile, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, anyway, so this picture beer particular beer is eight uh, percent ABVs. 90 IBUs, which is way up there for a, an IPA. I've always been told that right around the 80 to the 90 mark, the palate can't recognize anything any higher. I won an award at the uh, IPA Atlantic Beer Festival. Um, it's got, so for, this is interesting. So they call this a full bodied IPA with a flaunting sultry, good, good verbiage, of guava, mango, tropical fruit aromas. Dry hop with citra, which are awesome with fruits, zyoth and crystal hops, um, brewed with a light malt and bravo bittering hops. I love it when IPAs have bittering hops because I think it really lends to a very good finish, typically. Um, this double IPA is smooth with warming alcohols and a torrid finish. I don't know what torrid means, but we'll find out. Um, I told you about the hop. The other thing about this, um, which I think is interesting, it's got Munich and chocolate malts. So I have no idea how that's going to play out. But at any rate, let's open it up, check this out, and we'll put it in a glass, and we see what we got. The torrid finish is something that I have to admit I'm, I'm very interested in. So if you pour it in the glass here, it looks just like an IPA should look like, a double IPA. It's got thin white frothy foamy head, a little bit of carbonation, not too much. Crystal clear, zero stuff floating around. It's kind of kind of got a very light orangish color to it. This is exactly what double IPA should look like. Let's smell it out. Interesting aroma. Um, lacking. It's <laughs> there's almost no aroma. It kind of smells like wet beer. Um, maybe a little bit of malt. Very bready very um, flowery maybe a little bit of pine but not much you might might smell some orange and some mango but it is very subtle wow um, this is not a very good aroma so hopefully what's inside the glass is better let's get into it cheers wow That's probably one of the most nondescript tasting double IPAs I've had in a long time. There's almost nothing to tell you about. It tastes like beer. You can taste malts. You can kind of taste hops. The hops taste more to me like a lager. Um, it finishes quickly, which is nice. They kind of hid the, the ABVs. There is no way and I have plenty of experience with IBUs around 90 that this thing is even close to 90 in my opinion in terms of its taste. Um, it's very light um, with the double IPA at 90 and 8%, 8 they usually present very differently. Um, I'll make this quick. We read our beer to one five. I um, typically don't do this, but I would give this a one. This is probably one of the worst double IPAs I've had in 2016. There's nothing unique about it. I won't finish it. I won't enjoy it, as I say. Um, it's not unique at all. 
Um, there's nothing that stands out. I wouldn't buy it again. And other than the label, which I thought was awesome, I will say that the rest of it, um, unfortunately, inside is not. So there's there's my three cents. It's more than my two cents. Um, sorry, that's this is not good. So we'll try again maybe later. I was really excited to try something different from a new brewery, but it wasn't worth it. So if you've tried it, please leave comments on your YouTube channel or our website. We upload all the time. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we appreciate you watching, and we will see you again real soon.